Hey, how's it going? It's uh, it's been a while. It's uh, midsummer here now at the Huey Studio. Uh, last time you probably saw me was spring, and uh, it's been slow. You know, I kind of hit a wall a bit here with the weather and getting into summer activities, getting the kids out of school. So thought I'd bring you up to speed today. Back in the garage, I got a bit of a limp. Not because I went like that too. I was a bit of a limp, but rolled my good ankle the other day. So that's not great. I kind of want to show you through this. I moved all the trim from the roof of the blue car, or green car, over here just to fit it back on. So this holds down the vinyl top and this picks up the uh, chrome here. So I moved all that over. So it's like, in the end of the day, it might not be the hardware I'm using, but it'll. I wanted to have it on here so I could see if everything fit right and I'm doing so far it looks like it's fine I think I have this for the actual but very impressed with how this has all come together the other thing you might see here is that I have this lip now so I had a local fab shop and I got some finishing welding to do that's why I have some uh, tech screws in there but they did a very nice job of bending that piece for me if I could just find the last little bit of it I'll show you what it looked like Of course, as soon as you need something, it disappears, doesn't it? So he cut. So this is the piece that I had made at the fab shop. And he did about, I think it was three feet, or a couple of rows of three feet of I've cut it down. This was my attempt at it. <laughs> it looks like just hot garbage. So to have this done, very nice fellow. I think he charged me 100 bucks for getting it all done. And it's pretty much all installed, if you see. I gotta tack it up the front here. Um, but, and it's text good. I just ran out of mid gas when I was doing it. So, in a few places, it's got the tech screws in it. Um, yeah, so I haven't cleaned this up. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean up this ledge get this teched in um been doing a lot of time with Thelma this summer she's been just a just a trooper so I think I'm taking her out to uh, Kelowna in a couple weeks here I think she made the cut I take the six but the kids are gonna be out there and I want to drive the kids around while I'm out there so Thelma's better at that so it'll be a nice drive with the new stereo through the mountains uh this is going <laughs> the only Chevy in my shop right now. I'm waiting on a battery. They back ordered it on me. And I've had the TR6 apart, which I was gonna film, but it went so fast. So there's our new gasket down here. And this is where it was blowing through before. And this just took an afternoon. I got a few screws to tighten up here. And uh, then just put the rest of it back together. So, Hopefully that'll get rid of our <laughs> So it's not like I've been doing tons without you. Just little things. Um, just keep me a hand in the game. The other thing I'm gonna do, so I think I'm moving the passenger driver's side door on the 64 back to uh, crank windows. I've gone down the path as far as I can on this window thing. And I really hate there she's there. I really hate cranking up the windows on Thelma after a drive. And I really hate driving around with the windows half up or the back windows up on a two-door hardtop. It doesn't look right. But I also, finding power windows, uh, hardware for the back of these cars, is just more difficult than I want to go down the path with. And I've tried to retrofit a couple things. So I've put the back ones in on cranks. So we got kind of a hybrid now. Yeah, the back ones and they're working really well this one's got a bit of a clunk on the way up but look how nice that goes up and then back down again she'll clunk on the way down too nice oh there she goes she clunks on the way down but that one is, is even better so yeah so we're gonna move this i got all the hardware changing back to roll up so we're gonna do that i was hoping to get back to long-term storage this weekend to get the clip but that's not gonna happen 
kids' uh, sports have cropped back up again. And I am now pinned this weekend. Surprise, surprise. So, stay tuned. I think it's too hot to weld. I think it's too hot to weld, but I don't want to choose this here. Holy crap, it's hot. So this is what this is look like. Ooh. Oh, it's not a swap 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 anymore. Foot, 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 foot. Exhaust leak gone. eerie here this is long-term storage and you can tell i haven't been here for a long time because it's kind of grown in um today's hateful task is getting the clip back up to calgary and uh here she is and i played with the idea of getting a trailer and just loading it up and taking it apart back home but that never came to fruition so i'm here today and I get to take it apart. Yay. So, stay tuned, I guess. If you like that kind of thing. So the idea here is I'm gonna take this one apart. <coughs> this is one from the California car. Uh, this one is the one from the two door. But you see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some rust issues there. So it's not candidate to go back on. So this will be our clip for the most part. So we'll leave the we'll leave this one together here. And we'll take this one apart. And when I say we, I mean mostly me. So here we go. 
So, fender, cross brace, fender. Grill, valence, or valance, or whatever you call this thing, which only had 36 bolts holding it in. And rat support over here, over here, gimbal. There you go, right there. Rat support. So, all in all, good day. Uh, I wanted to get some parts off the blue car. I cut out the door latch. I need a door latch. Yeah, I started cutting out the latch right here. And uh, I think they're living there underneath that rear seat. Because there was about 40 of them for a second there. There's one now. But I'm going to let them be. Oh, the dog got into him. Jesus. <laughs> you alright, bear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Whoops. Can you tell my wife's out of town? <laughs> so this is all the chrome I brought in from the acreage when I was pulling the clip today uh so if that's fixing or me i guess we're fixing the roof this is the interior panel for the driver's side along the roof <laughs> i don't think i can use it this is ridiculous <laughs> you forget about how bad this is but <laughs> that's one of it's got a fucking hole in it <laughs> like just how do you fix that and we've got another one here like how rusty you gotta be so i'm trying to make it work some parts from the blue car the convertible because it was a four-door hardtop so a lot of this stuff changes over i do believe like this one's not great but I mean, this one's not great either it's different though it's scalloped no that is so weird it's this is the other side so this will work on the other side. I think the other side one is fine. This will work on the other side too. Do I have one for this side? It may not. There's the inner piece. There's the inner piece. I'm not finding inner piece here. It will. Rut row. Inner, inner, inner. Fruit cakes. These are both passenger side. This is driver's side. I must have not grabbed that one. Damn it. All right, I'll be back. You can tell my wife's still in town. <laughs> um, so I've been organizing the screws. Kind of, I got some baggies coming from Amazon. Probably mostly used for cocaine, I would imagine. Um, these are all the chrome interior screws. What I assume are chrome interior screws. And they're all broken out into sizes and collars and uh, just broken out. So basically, these are all non chrome screws. These are Rando hardware. Uh, these are for the window roll ups. This is for the door lock. Is it surprising I remember all this stuff? These are holding the dash in and these are all the clips and I have these on the car because I took them off the convertible and um, these are for holding the chrome on along the roof and there's my pile of chrome and steering column stuff and yeah getting ready to do something here 
getting ready to basically um, have all this stuff organized because like a lot of this stuff came out years ago and here's they cut this off of the blue car one on the acreage there before the hornets turned south on us and I'm just kind of put a little vinegar to it just to kind of get the rust off so it don't strip out because these strip out really easy and I've stripped around the driver's side door and I want to fix that so yeah so what I'm going to do now because I'm waiting for the baggies to come is that I am doing a major road trip in uh, Falmouth. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? So I'm uh, recording this week's video and, uh, or sorry, I'm editing this week's video and I'm going through and realizing there's a ton of footage from the road trip and that's going to have to be its own video because you're not going to watch an hour of me screwing around. Like I understand this is, we're sitting about 15 minutes on this one, which is kind of a shorter one for me, but it's just a hodgepodge of things that's happened so far this summer. I feel like I haven't got a video out for a while. Should get a video out. This is what we're going to do. Um, so the next video will be the road trip, a major road trip. And I don't want to spoil anything, but just say I'm a big fan of 77 Chrysler. Uh, so thanks for watching this week. Uh, like, subscribe, do all those things. Hug your friends. I don't know what else else to do. Stay safe. Uh, pet a cat. Uh, remember, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. Subscribe again if you can. I don't know. Uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, send an email to your grandma. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and remember, Stubby loves you.